Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a tag video for y'all today. This is the nothing over $10 tag, which I think is so much fun because I love affordable makeup and this is all super affordable makeup. Nothing in this tutorial costs more than $10 individually. So super fun. Even the brushes that I use are really affordable. So yeah, this is the look that we're gonna be doing. It's kind of like a pinky burgundy sort of a situation on the lid and kind of a coppery lower lash line, brown lip. So I like how it all came together. So if you guys wanna see how I get this look, this super affordable look, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm starting with some foundation. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and I wear it in 110. And I'm using one of my Beauty Junkies brushes. This is the Flat Kabuki. So individually this is over $10, but if you buy it in a set, it ends up being less than $10. Now I'm gonna put on some eye primer and let that set while I'm doing my brows. Today I'm using the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I love this primer. I think it's just as good as anything high end. For my brows, I'm gonna use my NYX Tame and Frame. I wear it in blonde and I'm using a Beauty Junkies Pro Precision Eyeliner, but it works for brows too. You know, whatever kind of brush. Again, this one is part of a set, so it ends up being less than $10 if you figure up how much each of the things are. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying. Now for a base on my eyes, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal, 24 hour metal in what is this? Pink something? Inked in pink. And apply that to my lids. Starting on my eyes, I'm gonna use a bronzer in my crease. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder and I'm using a Beauty Junkies Pro Blending Brush for this. And I'm just applying this right into my crease and transition area. I really love this bronzer. It's a very kind of warm tone bronzer, but I feel like it just has like a beautiful, I don't know, warm look to it. <laughs> I don't know, like if you like warm bronzers, I think you would like it. And it is great on the eyes too, so that's a nice little bonus that you kind of end up with two products in one. Now I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Trio in I'm Getting Sunburn, and I'm gonna get some of this top pink right here on a Wet n Wild Small Concealer Brush, and I'm gonna pack that all over my lids. this other Wet n Wild Trio in Knock on Wood and I'm going to get some of this kind of like burgundy sort of shade here at the bottom and apply that into my outer corner kind of blend that over into my crease a little bit and I'm using a Beauty 360 brush this I got at I think CVS And then I'm gonna get the tiniest little dot of this middle shade from the I'm Getting Sunburn Trio. This is so ridiculously pigmented that I'm literally just getting a dot just for a little bit of added dimension in my outer corner. So I'm really concentrating this out here, not going into my crease really. my liner on my upper lash line I am going to take that really dark shade and just put that right into my lash line I'm using the same brush I used on my brows but I just kind of cleaned it off a little bit and for my lower lash line I'm going to use this ColourPop cream gel liner in 
show me and then I'm going to put a little bit of this over the top of that using that same angled brush. And I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm using the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. For concealer today I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Lumi in Ivory and my NYX HD Concealer in CW03. And I'm applying those with my Beauty Junkies Mini Angled Brush. Usually my last step of concealer, whether it's my MAC Pro Longwear or whatever, I like to typically dab it on. I don't know why, but I just do. I feel like I get a little bit more um, product applied and I'm able to really concentrate it kind of at the darkest part of my under eye circles, which is kind of right in here. So. I use my finger. Now I'm going to set my under eyes and the rest of my face with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder and I have it in Porcelain 10 and I'm going to use my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush for my um, under eyes and kind of my T-zone and then the rest of my face I'm going to use my e.l.f. Complexion Brush. some of this as my kind of brow bone highlight and I'm just using a Stilazzi S124 brush. For contouring today I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in Dolce de Leche. So I'm going to get some of the um, contouring color here <laughs> on a Wet n Wild. This is like the angled brush and I'm just going to do a little bit of structuring <laughs> on my face. I said structuring because I felt like I'd said the word contouring a little bit too much. So I'm sure structuring is a really good synonym for contouring. Now I'm going to take my NYC Sunny Bronzer and apply just a little bit of that into the hollows of my cheeks. I just want to add a little bit of warmth there. Not much, just a little tiny bit. For blush today I'm going to do a little combo of these two. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne and Apricot in the middle. So I'm going to apply this with my e.l.f. Blush Brush. And I'm first going to get some of Rose Champagne and apply that over most of my cheek. And then I'm just going to do a little pop of the other one, kind of right on the apples of my cheeks. For highlighter today, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. And I'm using a Beauty Junkies Pro Highlighter Brush to apply some of this. And I'm just going to apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. Cupid's bow. Teensy bit on my nose. I don't like a lot on my nose. Mostly just on the high points of my cheekbones. For lips today, I'm using Jordana's Tawny. I know, I really don't do this on purpose, but this is just the one that works with this and my Kate lipstick, Rimmel Kate lipstick in number 47. This is one of the nude collection, which I love.
Alright guys, so that's a finished looking tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you guys are watching this video, you are officially tagged to do this. I think it would be so much fun to see your looks. Or if you don't make videos, just let me know down below some of your favorite affordable makeup products because, like I said, I love affordable makeup, so I'm always looking for new hidden gems. So let me know your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!